again. Now this time, I'd like you to construct a sentence in each hobby using going to. Let's start with number one. Remember that she loves painting? So how do I construct a sentence using the word paint? She is going to paint on the weekend. Let's move forward with number two. How can I make a sentence using play? He is going to play guitar at his school. What about using the word read? He is going to read a book on Friday. And finally, the verb cook. She is going to cook on Saturday. Wonderful! You were able to create sentences on your own. This time, I'd like you to bring out your workbook and open it to page 27. Your task is to unscramble the letters in the thought bubbles and find out where the people are going on Saturday. Let's start. What do you think is the answer for number one? I'll give you time to think. You're right. The answer for number one is Jane is going to the cinema. What about number two? What are the words we can form out from the thought bubbles? You are correct. It is football match. So how do we create a sentence from those words? Pete and Dan are going to a football match. What about number three? The word in the thought bubble is beach. If I will create a sentence out of that word, Anne and Kay are going to the beach. And number four, the words are swimming pool in the thought bubble. If we are going to create a sentence out of those words, Ricky is going to the swimming pool. And lastly, what do you think is the word in the thought bubble? You are right, it is theater. So let's create a sentence out of that word. Mr. and Mrs. Sims are going to the theater. Bravo, boys and girls. Now let's move forward. In part two, our task is to follow the lines of the maze from the characters to the picture prompts. And we are going to choose an appropriate verb in the box. We are going to write sentences saying what the characters are doing at the weekend. Let's start. What do you think Ben is doing? We are going to choose watch. Ben is watching the television. What about Matt and Sue? What verb can we match for them? You are right. It is have. Matt and Sue are having a picnic. What about Kim? What is the best verb we can match for Kim? You are right. It is by. How can we create a sentence out of that? Kim is buying a dress. What about Harry? What is the right verb to match Harry? 
It is play. Harry is playing on the computer. Mr. and Mrs. Dunn. What will they be doing? You are right. Work is the best word to match what they are doing. Mr. and Mrs. Dunn are working on the garden. And lastly, what about Ned and Ray? Ned and Ray are riding their bikes. Brilliant boys and girls! Before we end our lesson, I would like to know what do you plan on the weekend? If you're going to ask me, Miss April, what do you plan on the weekend? Well, I am going to continue reading the book of Mitch album. What about you? I hope you learned something from me. I'll see you soon, boys and girls. Goodbye.